At this time, we want to inspect the drum and rim drive system. And there is a circlip on the end of the crankshaft. And I'm going to have to put this right like this. And then a small screwdriver. I don't know if you can get that right there, the way the E-clip is made. Start to pull on that. Now you might want to uh, watch out where it goes. Sometimes they take off. And the E-clip. E-clips you might want to look at can be worn in certain places and you might want to replace them once in a while. Um, then you have the retainer washer. Now you have the drive rim. The drive rim wears just like a spur sprocket in the except just the opposite. Here it wears down the edge of the rim and also the drive tooth becomes very sharp. And when that becomes very sharp, that will start to wear the, the drivers on the chain. So the drive rim is made to be replaced periodically and actually, when you start to see some wear, just replace it. It's a very inexpensive part, which, of course, you can get here on treestuff.com. You can take the clutch drum off. On this rim style system, you really don't see a whole lot of wear in the, in the drum. Uh, just making sure that the splines are in good shape because that does allow the rim to float back and forth. As the chain runs down the bar, it sometimes can move a little bit. So in the case of a rim system, that allows the chain to move without flipping it off the bar. And then, of course, the bearing. And... This gives you a chance to inspect the springs to look for any wear on the end of the spring or any wear on the shoe. You can see this shoe has been overheated just a little bit, uh, which is not uncommon when you have a chain break that's left on too long. But that will start to make the springs lose their tension. And so if you get a chain that you cannot keep from turning when it's supposed to be sitting still, you want to investigate the springs to see if they're broken and or worn.